Hi, Libra. Welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We are going to get started right away today. What advice do you have for Libra, please? What does Libra need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Libra? All right, we're going to do a general reading today. We will lay out the tarot. I'm going to pull a Sacred Destiny Oracle card. These have already been shuffled. You have the Opportunity card, okay? This is, to me, looks like a fairy tale, doesn't it? The moon, okay? The moon always, the moon mirrors the sun. It's always darkest before the dawn. So if you're saying, I do not have any options. I am out of moves in my life. I need an opportunity. It's coming in, so... We'll see. It may even be an opportunity to meet someone. It's such a beautiful card. Well, you got an offer with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. It may have been a long time coming. The Seven of Swords, the Empress, the Knight of Pentacles, your financial guardian angel is here. The Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. This is very solid, especially, too, because I picked up on an energy, a bit of an energy of not panic exactly, but frustration, um, so I definitely feel like you have a new cycle. The path to the heart is here with the Empress, but I like this um, Ace of Pentacles and just sort of that softening agent of the Ace of uh, Page of, of Cups. And then, of course, we do have the Ace of Swords. Isn't that nice? The, the pages are messengers. They're beginnings. So you have two beginnings here full of communication, solid communication, mental clarity. There's nothing hidden. There's no guessing. It just takes the guesswork right out of it. And so I do feel like, too, if it's a relationship, again, there's no games being played. Anything you do in this Ace of Pentacles energy will run the distance. And so with this, it's new doors opening. You, you do have a new opportunity. And if it seems like you put a lot of effort into it, say you've judged your resume and you've sent it out to 8,000 places, you haven't gotten any hits, I feel like finally you're going to have something, but you say, my gosh, the, it's best to wait. I'm glad I didn't have all these other people coming in. It could have been really confusing. This makes it clear. There's nothing confusing about this. Now, if it's a home, and I feel like you have a home coming here, it's been a long time coming. I do feel like somebody here, you may have to take time and sit yourself down and quiet down if you're moving, because I feel like the moving process is going to be an arduous one. It's going to be one where you could leave things behind with the Ten of Wands, Seven of Swords. I feel like you need to be careful with that. And so uh, I also feel like if you leave it behind, you won't get it back. It's one of those things. Don't you hate that? Especially when you move and it's like, well, there's not many people in here after me. Where did it go? You know, there was somebody in my city where I live that took off in somebody else's moving van. That was wild. So don't leave your keys if you're moving yourself. I don't move my own stuff. I haven't moved in 22 years anyway. So if I did, I wouldn't do it again. It's too hard. Um, but either way, I do feel like with this, you have a new opportunity showing up. So this Ten of Wands says you've been through it. But you know what? You're like the Energizer Bunny. You just don't give up. You keep moving forward anyway. However, they are trying to tell you that life is about to get easier. This Ten of Wands gets heavy after a while. It's enough is enough. So if you've been taking care of somebody, if you've had to keep your mouth shut at a job and kind of put up with stuff, I feel like you're going to have a new job. And the treatment there is going to be much better. This is challenging. Now, if you're also, too, you've been wrapping up some things at an old job to go on to a new one, and it feels like it's never ending, but you want to leave it in good order because you know that's part of your, you know, it could be future references, or it's even trying to get this foothold just seems difficult. I do feel like you're coming out of this finally. And so with that Seven of Swords I mentioned before, be careful when you're in a Ten of Wands. If you do feel quite burdened, Make sure that you're lucid and aware of your surroundings, that you're not leaving things, important things behind, like AirPods. I get this, like losing tiny, expensive things seems to be an issue for somebody. And it's really more your point of uh, uh, attraction, okay? It's like you're distracted and tired. And that's when you're going to be in a situation where you could have a Seven of Swords. Now, the Tarot, as we know, is your best friend who tells you the truth. So they're also warning you. They're trying to help you to prevent this. If you're using a shopping cart, don't leave your wallet on the top of it or your phone. 
put it in your pocket. I just feel like they're trying to tell somebody not to be careless with things when we're tired because we get tired, don't we? I mean, if we were just these divine beings with all this, without all the human part, we wouldn't have this energy drain, but we do to contend with. So I feel like they've given you a nice warning there. And with the, the um, Empress energy, this is where things will flourish. So I do feel like life is about to pick up and it's about to get fun. Now, I feel like you're going to encounter somebody who's an Empress, especially too, if you felt like you've been carrying a heavy burden for somebody else. I feel like you're going to have an Empress come in and it's just going to be fun and light and easy. But one thing I do feel about this is it might be a bit of an adjustment, getting used to being taken better care of because that's what she does. She loves to dote on people. She loves to make people happy. She welcomes her home. She opens the doors to her home to anyone. And so with this Empress energy, I do feel like you're going to have a feeling of community and companionship coming in. She also represents luxury. So if you've been working your hiney off with that 10 of wands and it's to take a vacation, I feel like you're going to have lots of upgrades and niceties. You have it with the eight of pentacles too. Saving up for something is going to pay off. You're going to say, my gosh, that was better than I thought it could be. She does represent fertility. You have it here as well. So be aware of that, whatever that means to you. If you want it, yay. If you aren't interested in that, just be careful. Um, but she is ultimately too the multiplier of forms and ideas. So she is very wonderfully creative energy. So I feel like how that comes from you, Libra, is being very creative, being in a place too. But don't just sit on your laurels with that because she also takes action. She doesn't just sit and think of great ideas. She takes action. Um, I had a friend, I don't know why I'm bringing this up, but I'm going to, that started, uh, got an ice cream truck because they thought it would be fun. The next thing you know, they've got an ice cream brand that's stocked in stores and restaurants and all over the place just on a whim. It snowballed, okay? So don't let anybody poo-poo your ideas because I'll tell you what, 15 years ago when they bought that ice cream truck before there were food trucks everywhere, people thought it was weird. They were like, oh God, this is funny, I guess, but it's not going to make money. Well, guess what it has? So I'm telling you, your good ideas are money. They're monetizable. So with this Knight of Pentacles, you have money coming in, by the way. I love the Knight of Pentacles because he gets it right every time. You'll never have buyer's remorse with the Knight of Pentacles. If you are about to make a, a big purchase, the salesperson, you might sense that they get frustrated. They're trying to almost push you into a deal. And you're not going to do it until you're good and ready, not with this energy. Now, if you're on the other end of that and you're in sales, you might find this a, a, an annoying customer where you go, God, it's almost more trouble than it's worth. But I'll tell you what, it, the reason why it's so good is you'll never have complaints. You will not have a complaint associated with this Knight of Pentacles. So, like I said, he's the, the guardian angel of the tarot in terms of money and finance. It's also commitment, by the way. So, if you've been in a relationship that just seemed like it was give, 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 and you never received back, you I hear that song, Mandy, remember that by Barry Manilow? That was a good one. Um, but anyway, with this, I feel like you're going to have somebody who will commit to you. They're also going to be very good by their word. This is not the person who shows up 20 minutes to, late to meet you. This is the person who shows up on time because they plan it out. They plan out traffic. They look at their Google Maps or wherever they need to look at to see how long it's going to take. They give themselves an extra five minutes, okay? Whoever this is, they're very, very dependable. And you have it here too with this Eight of Pentacles. Now I mentioned before, if you're saving up for some, something, especially if it's something like a vacation or a home, you're gonna have more than enough where you don't feel poor. It's never fun to be in a house and feel house poor and want, want, want for things and not be able to decorate and do stuff that you want to it. So with this Eight of Pentacles, your time will be well spent where you had an investment up here that seemed quite arduous. This is a bit different because you can look at all those pentacles. You can see their value. You can see the worth. And you can also, too, track your progress. Now, if you're asking about the physical body and it's been sort of slow and steady, you know, maybe it's a pound or two every week. I do feel like this is adding up, all right? You've got eight of them here. But it's going to be that progress where you keep chipping away at it and you'll get to where you want to go. With the, um, the page of cups here, I love this page because it brings in a softness. In terms of a love interest, especially with the Empress, these two together, very lovey-dovey energy, very understanding energies. Unconditional love lives here. 
And so if you're ready for a relationship, if you had one that ended, you have a new beginning, but it's it's built on real love, but it's also very clear the communication is open and honest, very transparent person. They have nothing to hide, okay? I do feel like whoever this is though, they like to take things light. You know, they like to be light about life. I feel like they may have had some challenges in the past and it's given them a different sense about the world and, and just to be easy about things. So the Ace of Swords is going to help you cut away, break away from something that is no longer working. That I feel like it was a sort of a time limited thing anyway, where it's like it's coming to an end and you have a new start, a brand new fresh beginning here. So with this Ace of Swords, any goals that you set here, you will surpass. And like we said, the clarity, the mental clarity will give you the vision of what you, where you want to go, but the communication will take it home. So I definitely feel like you're going to find any contracts that you have are going to be very um, trustworthy. You have it with the Knight of Pentacles too. That committed, trustworthy energy will not disappoint you. So let's see now what the angels want to tell you. What else does Libra need to know, please? Messages, please, for Libra. Advice. What does Libra need to know, please? The situation will improve. So again, if you've been in through a taxing period or you feel like you just are almost running to stand still, I feel like that is going to slow down and get a lot more stable. Ask your angels. So ask because they want to interact with you. Meditate. Quiet the mind. And look for a sign because we ask, but then we have to be open to the answers. The universe will communicate with you in the level and way that you can receive it. Perfect timing, they say, and you got there's something better. So if you do feel like you're quite burdened, I feel like they're trying to tell you there's something better. Things are going to get easier here. Good things are on the way, Libra. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.